I guess first I'll say happy Halloween, but hey guys, it's Lauren here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we're gonna do some Halloween things. Um, we're gonna go to this farm in Queens, and it's supposed to have a lot of Halloween stuff, like hay rides, like candy apples, like a lot a lot of fun spooky stuff. So I'm excited to go and see all of that, because it's gonna be like the first fall-ish thing I'm actually doing. So I'm excited to go and actually like feel in the spooky like fall mood. And then there's gonna be a parade. They do like a costume parade pretty much annually in New York, but there wasn't one last year because of COVID, obviously. So there's gonna be one this year and I'm really excited to go and I'm excited to show you guys my costume because like as you guys already know like I've been on this channel for like two years I I love Halloween that's my favorite holiday other than Thanksgiving because I was born that day so I'm excited to go I'm excited to get dressed and I'm excited to show you guys my costume and yeah we're gonna be on our way though because we're kind of already late and it's an hour and 30 minutes off so wish us luck <laughs> and hopefully we survive because I woke up at 8 a.m. and uh coming off midterms week is a little bit rough but pray for me so anyways without further ado let's get into the video So we paid for tickets in the middle of the line. Because <laughs> we already done that. It's, but it's cool. It's cool though. It's all the events. So it's cool. It's pretty. I don't know what will happen to me. Will I be remembered in the century? Or will I be forgotten? A dozen in the wind. Or the talk of the town that we are living in. Well, I don't know. Okay, so you need to, the cut scene from here to there, it does not look chaotic, right? But, as soon as we poured the apple cider, literally got swarmed by bees, like chased throughout the entire place, like, by bees. It was actually kind of ridiculous. It was cool though, because now we're getting on the hay ride. I don't know what will happen to me. Will I be remembered in the century? Or will I be forgotten like dust in the wind? Or the talk of the town that we are, that we are living in? I don't know what will happen to me. Will I be remembered in the century? Or will I be forgotten like dust in the wind? Or the talk of the town that we are living in? Well, I don't know. do a funnel cake here. Yeah. I love the way this look feels like a Six Flags to me, like a carnival. Yeah. Hey. Do do. Do What's that? I'll be placed in time. Not in Okay. Thank you. Oh, 
Big Bird. <laughs> so where are we going exactly? Yeah. Probably we're looking for yeah. food. I look ridiculous right now, but I want to read this first poem out loud just because I'm trying to make sense of it. Like again, like this is my first time reading poetry on my own. Like on my like for the sake of just like myself. And it's really interesting. Like I like the intro because it's basically just saying that hip hop basically made poetry relevant again in the modern world. And it's refreshing and hip hop connects so many cultures and it combines the new and the old and it just breaks from like the standard. And that's basically a compilation of these poems. They're from like about four decades from like the 70s or the 60s till the 90s. And um yeah, it's really freaking interesting. Anyways, I'm gonna read this out loud and hope it makes sense. So, this is by Randall Horton in 1961. An eyewitness say he still had the mic in his hand at an archaeological site in New York, but it could have been Atlanta then too. Callie is not impervious. A male MC unearthed himself at last from the dirt and had been compressing the species down forever, annihilated it is believed. Not one real motherfucker inhabits America, especially is sought to exterminate anything sagging or claiming to be. And, and, 
and still on the ride, anthropologists say the body perfectly intact. A check one, a check two times, onlookers blinked at the rustic microphone, long suffering in its extinction. A conceit, the lecherous inability to transform our initial state so often voted its death. Even the posse, AK. There is none found. A crew, all skeletoid, offered introspections on capitalism at the present. Archivists are looking onto the good foot. James Brown is making a comeback. Is what they chant on the streets, rejuvenating. Precarious species can disappear in a hand clap. I can find a whole lot of stuff I don't understand, but reading it out loud definitely made this make way more sense than just like reading it on paper. So reading this whole anthology is about to be really interesting. But anyway, it's nice. It's a nice breakaway from the usual. And a nice breakaway into self-care, I guess, with the mask. I'm sorry you had to see me like this. Anyways, moving on. Right now it's past 3.30, it's almost 4. And yeah, I've just been spending a day getting my life together, I guess. Like, it's not even big things, just little things like wearing a face mask and starting poetry and finishing unfinished business. I finally finished Blue Period after starting it last month. Literally the beginning of October, now it's like the beginning of November. And it was really good. This first volume is honestly like amazing. I think towards the middle it was kind of losing me a bit, but then towards the end, like again, it was caught me in. So I think I'll slowly be reading this whenever I can a chance at reading these volumes. Um, I'll see if I can pick up some volumes at the library, but if not, I think I might buy the second volume and see how it goes. Um, according to the animation, a lot of people said it wasn't that good. Um, so I think I'll still watch the anime, but I think I'll focus for now on just reading this because it's on Netflix. So I'll probably always be on Netflix like by the time I want to watch it. So um, that's Blue Period. It was really good. I gave it four to five stars. And yeah, I'm just going to try and get to me reading, relaxing, focusing on being calm. Um, the last few weeks have been really hectic like the last three weeks i finished my last midterm finally finally finished that it was literally so chaotic and i just haven't been eating the most healthily the last week or so and i haven't really been working out so i'm just trying to focus on feeling equilibrium again if that makes sense what else anyways i ate a healthy breakfast didn't really journal on anything but i just focused on listening to podcasts um take my morning slow reorganizing cleaning the cleaning part has been really therapeutic cleaning is so therapeutic i kind of get what my mom likes it a lot even if she stresses a a lot about cleaning like I honestly just love cleaning when it's calm and I'm doing it by myself just like peace I could listen to music or listen to a podcast and just like clean out my room and feel like my space is more organized I turned on our little wax warmer thing which is basically just like a different sort of candle and since cinnamon is in the room now I'm gonna go pick up some Auntie Anne's because I feel like I'm gonna give myself a little treat and then I'm gonna order sweet grain so I'm eating healthy again <laughs> so uh that's pretty much the plan for the rest of the day I thought about painting or drawing I might still do that but really I have so many videos to edit like this is probably gonna go up soon within the next week or so um, because it does include the Halloween footage. Um, I did just have the Halloween footage and the reason I'm including this like self-care sort of um, excerpt thing is because well the footage wasn't too big and I honestly felt like I needed it because midterms was just like stressed out for weeks on end. Um, my life is really chaotic. Everything was a mess and it wasn't like I was unhappy but I felt very like on edge and I still sort of feel that way but I do feel like way more calm um, so that's nice but I'm gonna go get some Auntie Anne's. I might go to the battery and just like vibe out there for a bit and walk back. I kind of doubt it because I have a lot of work I gotta do, but yeah. <laughs> I need to edit the video, um, but I am gonna go get that on TN. And yeah, I'm just gonna continue reading. I, as you guys probably saw, I started um, poetry again. I started reading that. So I'm gonna put that on my Goodreads because it's called, I think it's the Breakbeat Poets. And it's basically um, a collection of poetry spanning about like four decades from the 60s to the 90s. And it basically covers a lot of people of color authors and their different writing styles and different topics and just like poetry that's supposed to like break from the usual mold that was associated with it before the 60s so that's really cool to me um i like it, it basically combines hip-hop and basically just anything that like breaks from like the standard for poetry before people of color um really start to get more into the scene with hip-hop and you know just like bringing a new fresh perspective to the art so i'm really happy um i read the first three poems i'm gonna try and read a poem a day don't hold me to that though <laughs> But um, I'm gonna try and do that and we'll see how it goes with that. And I wanna finish it by 
next year because I don't just gonna like marathon read it and finish it so hopefully finish that by next year um but yeah I'm just trying to like calm down enjoy my time alone my roommate isn't here and I adore her but I'm kind of grateful because that meant I had the most of the day to myself so gonna get that on to so keep on saying that and yeah continue reading but yes you gotta remember to take time to take care of yourself and all of that um I kind of forgot to it's been a while since I just sat with you guys just like one-on-one one-on-one mono a mono <laughs> Uh, because I've been so busy every weekend. I've been so busy every week. I haven't even shown you guys a proper like school week in my life I'm not even sure if I wanted to quite frankly, um, but maybe maybe next semester uh, But yeah, school's been doing all right. I've been learning interesting things My teachers are not necessarily that interesting But like I assumed in the beginning of the semester my Japanese professor is the best So thank you sensei for all of that. My other teachers, they're like fine I guess but the material is more interesting than they are. So that's really what's keeping me going <laughs> Anyways, at this point I'm rambling, I'm gonna go get some Monty Ants and just take a walk. I might listen to the new Silk Sonic song because apparently that bangs. Um, but yeah, we're gonna do that. Do, 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 do. Now tell me why I look like a rock star from the early 2000s.